Hey guys, this is Chris from Gen X Life is Good with the day two report on the fasting mimicking diet, my do-it-yourself version. So I had a good day today. Um, I actually woke up with a lot of energy, which doesn't often happen. I don't know if that's the diet or if it's just me being excited. So um, I had a good day. I had a fairly small salad for lunch. You saw yesterday what I took. It was, you know, quite a bit less than the day before because um, I'm cutting down about, uh, about maybe 250 calories, maybe 300, I think about 250 calories versus yesterday. Um, so I had the salad for lunch and then again I had the potato snack, but you know, the afternoon was good. I drank a lot of herbal tea. Um, and then, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I started uh, looking at my ketone levels. Um, ketone levels, when the ketone levels rise or you have ketones in uh, either your blood or your urine or your breath, um, that means that your body is burning fat. Right? So I used the keto sticks and um, I checked before lunch and I already had trace amounts. And then I checked again when I left work um, and I had a small amount. Right? So that means I'm already starting to enter ketosis. Um, I was actually curious because this diet is fairly high in carbohydrates, right? So days two through five, you get 47% of your daily calories from carbs. And I was wondering how that would mesh with going into ketosis. Um, the Prolon site tells you that on day two, you start burning fat and that most people enter full ketosis on day three. So that's why I wanted to see today where I was at. And um, I guess it sort of makes sense. You know, even though I had a fairly big, heavy carb meal yesterday, I mean, not pasta, you saw what I ate, but compared to what I had the rest of the day, right, it was a pretty big meal. Um, but overall, the number of calories that I'm taking in is a lot less than what my body uses up during the day. Right, so my basal metabolic rate, the, the number of calories that I use up doing nothing, basically lying on the couch, staring at the ceiling or sleeping, um, is probably, I don't know, there are calculators for that, I'm going to say it's probably 1,200, 1,300 calories or so, right? So it's a multiple of the number of calories that I'm eating here every day. Um, so it makes sense that in addition to the calories I'm taking in, regardless of what macronutrient they come from, my body will need to pull from body fat. So anyway, um, salad for lunch, then the potato snack, and then I'll show you what I'm going to be eating for dinner here shortly. So I don't know if you can see that. I know the angle of the camera isn't great. I have to work that out. So I have a cucumber salad with a lemon, olive oil, and dill dressing. And uh, my Brussels sprouts, I um, sauteed in onion and olive oil. Sauteed in onion and olive oil. Sauteed in olive oil with a little onion. And then um, out of my butternut squash and carrots, I made a uh, butternut squash pureed soup. Um, sweated the onions and the vegetables, then added a little water, and eventually pureed it, and I made it spicy. So maybe like a little bit of hint of an Indian um, flavor. I added a touch of turmeric, I added some cumin, and then also some serrano pepper for a little, you know, hit of spice, and of course some salt. So I'm looking forward to eating that. But before I get to that, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. So tomorrow for lunch, I'm going to do a different kind of salad so I don't get bored. Um, this is actually nafa cabbage. That's visible here. Um, it's interesting, in the U.S., I don't really see Napa cabbage much outside of Chinese recipes. Um, when I grew up in Germany, my mom used to make this for my brother and me a lot. It's like as a raw salad, just cutting up the Napa cabbage. Um, and then with a really simple um, olive oil and lemon dressing with just salt and pepper. And my brother and I used to love that, and I make it for my family now, and my son loves it too, and my husband. So anyway, so that'll be lunch. I have a little olive snack for added fat and something else to munch. And then I have my trusty afternoon snack, my potatoes again. And then all this is going to be dinner. So I think I'm going to make that into a soup again because that worked really well yesterday. It was actually really tasty. So I have celeriac again, uh, butternut squash, cauliflower, and then I have collard greens. Um, 
I decided to use collard greens in this recipe rather than say kale or arugula or something else because the collard greens have lower protein than say kale. Kale is fairly high in protein, which is lovely when you're not on this diet, but since this diet is fairly restricted in terms of protein, you have to really watch what you're taking in, right? So 9% of daily calories um, from protein, four days, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's why I went with collard greens here. Then I have some carrots. I have three tiny little pieces of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts, but you know, again, those are fairly high protein. I have some parsley, and then um, I get about three grams of coconut oil. So between the olive oil I'll have for tomorrow, if I get it's 16 or 20 grams, and the coconut oil, I'll figure out what goes into the salad dressing and what's gonna go into the soup. So um, that's the news today. I will go have dinner now. And then I will talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know how things are going.